Hi guys, welcome back. I'm in Abinger Ruffs, part of the Abinger range. There's Abinger Common, Abinger Hammer. I just wanted to show you a couple of things uh, here within the Surrey Hills. A couple of little hidden gems. I've walked here for about five years. I'm not really on a walk, I just want to show you a couple of things. I was just talking to this really nice guy and he said he goes to Australia, everywhere and I could agree with him more here. He said, when you've got weather like this, you cannot beat the English countryside. And we're very, very lucky in Surrey because we have all that Surrey Hills. Up there is the North Downs Way, ancient trackway, which me and my friend Paul walked a couple of years ago. This is quite a long stretch here from uh, Newlands Corner right down to Ranmore Common. Now up on the top there, I can just about see it. There's loads of World War II pillboxes uh, along the route. But the one up there, which you probably can't see, is actually quite well looked after. And there's a little information uh, plaque on the outside. So we popped in there when we were doing the walk and I'll, I'll slip that little bit of footage in here now. Who lives in a pillbox like, like this? this? Yes, you get down in there. Let's go through the pillbox. Okay, you have a quick look inside. Yes, you can go inside this one. Spending all those hours down here. Yeah, absolutely. This is what I wanted to show you the Wilberforce Memorial here on uh, Abinger Ruffs, July the 19th, 1873. This monument marks a spot where Samuel Wilberforce, then the Sleepy Sam in Parliament, third son of the abolitionist William Wilberforce, and himself Bishop of Winchester from 1869 to 1873, was killed on 19th of July 1873 after a fall from his horse while riding with Lord Grenville. It was erected by the National Trust, so he actually passed away here. It's very sad. Um, it's nice to have a monument here for all people to see. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm sure that parts of this barn behind the monument are medieval in um, origin. I'm sure I read that somewhere. Oh, listen to that bird song. I think I'm right about the barn because there seems to be a plaque in the distance, which what's it doing uh, right over there? I don't know, no one can read it. Why don't they put it here near the fence? But uh, I think that does say that it's uh, medieval in origin, or medieval founding uh, foundations. Well, let's move on to the next thing I want to show you. This is more natural. There's a field not far from here that you walk through uh, to get to Avenger Ruffs. And I was on a walk I think it's about 2017. And unbeknown to me, a field I walked through before, there was about 25 cows that suddenly charged me. Really frightening. Really from people saying, oh, you shouldn't be too worried about cows. All you need to do is, no, no, it was frightening. So I'm very wary of going into fields now with cows. Well, actually I don't. But yeah, that was uh, 25 cows chasing you. And I made the gate on the opposite side with about half a second to spare. And then when I was walking the pathway around the field to get to where we are now, within the field the, the cattle were just sort of following me around, eyeing me out and saying, OK. Yeah, that was a, that was an interesting moment. It's on a video, but I don't think I... I did, wasn't obviously filming at the time, I was running. Oh, get that vitamin D in you, absolutely glorious. So 
brought you to the witch's broom tree. I say it's about 200 to 300 years old. And it's an unusual shape. A lot of the branches have been held up by sort of uh, weights to stop it keeling over. But it's actually quite an unusual shape. I love this, there's a little quote here. We played in the tree when we were children. In those days it was full of bee nests. <laughs> Yes, let's go up to it and have a quick look. As you can see, holding it up, it's a lovely, nice girth. I love trees, great for grounding. Grounding is very interesting, grounding and earthing, being in touch with nature and the actual ground of the earth. In the atmosphere, it's all charged positive electrons, but the Earth itself is negative electrons, which are really good as how we evolved, <laughs> how animals evolved. We need to be connected with, we all wear sort of rubber soles on our shoes and everything, and we don't get connected to the Earth anymore. <laughs> Woodcraft there. So yeah, well, I'll quickly bring you to the witch's broom tree. Oh. The A25 road is really interesting. It's the road that goes from Guildford all the way down to, not sure where it finishes, but the stretch between Guildford and Dorking is really interesting. You've got lots of little villages and hamlets along the way. You've got Shear, uh, Albury, which is the last video from the church, little ch Saxon church. Uh, Gomshaw, Peace Lake's not too far. Ockley's not too far. Um, yeah, so there's lots of little things to see. I might do some videos actually along the A25. I know I did, we started doing them a couple of years ago with Richard Vogue, the Bald Explorer. But I might sort of do the Surrey bits. Um, yeah, the A25, yes now, it goes down almost to Kent, doesn't it? That's right, because we've done um, Oxted and uh, a few other little villages along that, along that stretch and Godston. So yeah, it might be worth a little series of videos uh, now the summer's here. Yeah, there's a lot of history around this. I mean, around here has been settled for thousands and thousands of years. They found flint tools here. Um, so it's a very, very ancient site. Very ancient site. So yeah, time to move on. Let's 